the left brain is the problem because the left brain is the one that is critical and it's the one that, that says, oh, you can't do that or, or you should learn a different way to do this or that's not going to look good. So there's a whole lot of judgment in the, the left brain. But I live, even when I'm not painting, I live in my right brain. I started a stained glass business when I was right around 30. I had people saying, you can't do this. You can't make a living off of art. But I had such passion for art for what I was doing. And uh, I ran that for 25 years, and it did support me as a living. It's scary, especially if you're trying to make a living at it, but it is so worth it. I mean it, it is so worth doing what you love. It takes determination, it takes passion, it takes optimism, it takes love, love of what you're doing, and confidence. It takes confidence too. And so when I sold that business and retired, I decided that I would like to try painting. That's my way. I, I just jump in. I didn't know anything about painting. And even now, I, I can't draw very well. So. I just literally, when I paint, I close my eyes and see something, and then I start painting it. I don't even draw it, I just start painting it. I think that art, and not just paintings, all kinds of art, visual art, theater, paintings, sculpture, pottery, that it adds so much to our world. You see the energy of all these different people and how the art is being interpreted through them. That's what's so cool about art, is nobody sees it in the same way, nobody responds to it in the same way, but it is speaking to them on some level, and I'm not sure what that level is, but it is, it's speaking to them. And without that, without the individual expression of artists, I think our world would be lacking.